power had dropped from 7th to 19th. Now, to me, this is pretty indicative. Marty on pit lane. Ryan hunter has got a great car. Well, Ryan hunter able to go longer than everyone else, but he said on the radio, this better pay off with us staying out longer than everyone else. They talked about a wing adjustment. They vetoed that wing adjustment and a crash on the track. Huge crash on the front straightaway. Looks like Connor Daly and I believe Joseph Newgarden. All right, let's go back and take a look. Up at the See, top of your uh, screen, Connor Daly loose. Connor got loose. Oh. Connor just got loose, corrected, and went up into the track into Joseph. And now Joseph's upside down, and the front spins around, and Connor's car pushing it right into the wall, into the safer barrier. It's a good thing that was safer barrier and not concrete. And these two guys are the best of buddies, too. They're best friends. So this is a, a double hard. Yeah, they, they came up through the junior formulas together. The sound of it. And the violence that you see with which Connor's car snaps. Watch this. He gets loose, and now he's going to correct. Wow. Vicious, vicious crash. So they are attending to have his helmet off. Right shoulder is what he keeps. Now they hoe up to Hinchcliffe, and maybe Dixon can get up there and cause a few headaches for Hinchcliffe, and they are super close coming off of turn four. And Scott Dixon wants that lead lap. Yeah, the more you do this, you're all, oh, oh! Just like I said, the more you start fooling around and racing each other, that's what happens. Carpenter and Dixon touch. Dixon is into the wall, and there's that Castro Neves that came by and just clipped him. I thought that might be Gabby Chavez that clipped Dixon. We'll have to see it again, but Scott Dixon, I'm gonna say that there was a little bob and weave between those two guys. Uh, I'm sure Carpenter you know didn't appreciate how hard Dixon was racing. Tires, but look at this. Happens. Coming just through kinda, the tri-oval. Just kind of moved over a little. Looked like Ed just kind of cut the lane. And I mean, we see guys run two, three wide through there all the time. So there's plenty of room to do it. That's not an accident that you see very often. You watch here from an overhead. Oh, I don't know about uh, that. Yeah. It looks to me I like think, Dixon yeah. moved up. It looked like Dixon, you're right. It looked like Dixon got into the back of Ed. So I am, uh, I'm in the wrong here. I think, uh, wait a second, can you, can we say I'm, in, that one more <laughs> time? I'm in the wrong here. Is I, anybody I, agree with you. Yeah. I think Dixon <laughs> moved up the lane and caught that back bumper. That is Elio Castroneves. Robin without going side by side, but he's going to have to battle his teammate there as we see Rossi again multiple laps down in the green and black car behind them. Guys, Tony Kanan has moved up to oh, second in a big crash. Like I told you. And who is that? It's Rossi. Is that no, Rossi? That's Ed. That's Ed Carpenter. Yep. Take a look at what happened here. That's Graham Rahal on the low side. Castro Neves coming up behind the fuzzies. Ed green got and loose. Gold car. Yeah, he got loose, stepped up and oh, right rear went down. Nowhere to go. The right rear for Ed Carpenter, it looks like, went down. And Elio took pretty good contact. Front and rear for Castro Neves. That's on board, Simon Pagano. Yeah, it's wiggling, wiggling. And I wonder if the tire went down from the contact from Castro Neves. But either way, Carpenter, look at the right rear, guys. It's already down there. I don't know that it would have been cut by Castro Neves with the pot in the way. So. Well, it was certainly wiggling for quite a ways. It was loose, loose. He caught it like three times during the corner. So the possibility he could have had a puncture, was losing air pressure. Look like Castro Neves, Jan, he's putting a wing on now. For the race lead right there, oh, there are three cars, tight. but only two of them going for position. This Hinchcliffe in the middle, Kanan on the outside. Hinchcliffe for the race lead, dealing with the lap car of Simon Pagano, and we have a yellow. Oh, a lotion. And Hawksworth, a lotion was back on the lead lap and we wanted to see him try to make his way through, but he won't get the chance and Max Chilton also has had to come through the grass. Max Chilton's in a lotion again. Chance at a top five. You see him further back, red, white, and blue car on the high side. Imagine there. That's just, a lotion that's just a coming lotion in the right screen. There. He loses it. 
Yeah, nowhere for Hawksworth to go. Lotion lost it, and boom, right into the side and head on into the wall. It was a hard hit. Very similar to the crash that Connor had with uh, with New Garden. Very similar, but uh, luckily these guys these guys walked away from this one. Hawksworth was just an innocent bystander coming through at the end, and Chilton had to go through the grass to avoid him. Rob